Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedia again. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to program a tempo map in Studio One. So let's say that you have a Studio One song and you have set up your tempo, like in my case, to 80 BPMs. Let's go ahead and press play just to listen a little bit to this tempo, just to get a feel of how fast or how slow it goes. Okay, so that's 80 BPMs. Now let's say that you want to program this so that starting on the second bar, the second measure, it goes all the way from 80 to let's say 200. Okay, I'm gonna do something aggressive so that you can actually listen to the difference. I'm gonna make sure that uh, it's very explicit, okay? Um, so th this is a situation in which you would typically need to alter um, your tempo track, okay? So that automatically when you press play, uh, it starts in 80 and it'll do that first bar and then on the second bar it'll switch to 200 or 150, whatever you program it to be, okay? This is something you have to do, well, that I advise you to do before you start recording, okay? So that your actual recording is following the actual tempo, okay? So how do you do that? Well, um, if you go here on the top left of the screen, um, there's this little icon, looks like a clock, right? That's the tempo track. If you click on it, you're going to open the tempo track. You can resize this by clicking and dragging. As you can see, it's set to 80. Now, let's say that starting on bar, bar 2, I want to make this 200. How do I do that? Well, if you simply double click on bar 2, you add that little dot, then I'm going to go ahead and do it again on bar 2, B2. So you have these two dots here, right? If you click on the first one and drag it, it'll snap. You see that it just snapped to bar number 2, B1, so now I can I, I'm, I'm still dragging it, okay? I clicked on it, it snapped, and then... I'm I'm gonna pull it, push it up until it gets to 200, 199, 198, and uh, okay, that's 201. Let's let's just leave it there. So as you can see, what this tempo track is telling me is that when the song starts, when the song starts, it's gonna start in 80. Okay, it's gonna be 80 BPMs only for one measure, and then starting on measure two, it's gonna go to 200. Right. Now, let's say that on measure 3, I want it to go back to 80. I can basically click on 3 to create another um, uh, one of those little dots, and then 3, B2, I'm going to create another one, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to click on it, I'm going to drag it down, it's going to snap, and then I'm going to go back to 80. And, well, 81. Let's just leave it in 81. So, let's test this. So, when I press play, you should hear a tempo of 80, then a 200 BPM tempo for one measure, which is measure two. This should be fast, okay? Um, 80 and 200, that's a big difference. So, 200 should go way faster than 80, and then it'll go back to 81. So let's see what happens. And it works. So that's how you program a tempo change or a tempo map in Studio One. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedia at 615-933-6775. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. 
Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.